Hello, welcome back to What Time. My name is Paul Marriott and today we're going to be looking at file managers. What's the best file manager for an NVIDIA Shield? We must see this question at least once a week over in the Facebook groups. To answer a question with a question or a few questions is really is, well, what do you want to get out of a file manager? So the way we use a file manager generally are for three main things. Cutting, copying, pasting, moving files and folders around our device but not just around our device also to and from our pcs or phones as well as accessing our dropbox accounts or cloud storage accounts so today we're going to look at the explore file manager the fx file manager and the es file manager so with all that being said let's get stuck in what time will it take time OK, well, let's start with ES File Explorer. <clears throat> I have to say straight off the bat, this is my least favorite of the file managers. Um, I will explain a bit later on why. Let's get down to it. So accessing and opening files and folders, we need to go to home, go to the internal storage. And there's the, <clears throat> the folder that we have for today's test. Click in there, and we've got photo. We've got a short video file out of there. And we've got a folder, Cody folder with some graphics in it. OK. Now, just come back out and back out of there. So we've accessed that. We want to copy it over to another drive. We're going to long press on there. And we're going to copy it, shows we're in there, and we have to then paste it in. And there it is. We come out of there, and there's, and there's the contents of that folder. OK, all well and good. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is copy over to our LAN. So back to that original folder, we're going to Copy that folder. I'm going across to our LAN to find our PC. Click on there, and we're going to put it in the downloads folder. We've already done a test earlier in there, and that we're going to paste onto there as it already exists. We're going to overwrite and apply to all. Bish bash bosh, all done. So come out of that. Okay, and the next thing is we go to the cloud drive and let's try and access that. Go back to our original folder to copy it. And we go to our cloud drive. I think it was that one, wasn't it? Yes. Cloud Drive, and we're going to paste it in there. We're going to, again, we've already done a test over there, and we're going to overwrite it, and that will take a moment or two. And there we have that folder. Now, I said earlier that I really don't like ES File Explorer. <laughs> Navigating around it is really clunky. Using the remote or the game controller, it just you just get lost. It doesn't respond correctly. It's very difficult. I have to use the mouse most of the time. Uh, I find that the only way to, to get around. And even then it's not ideal. Um, there are different ways of navigating different file explorers that I do like better. Enough said. So let's move on to FX File Manager. On opening FX File Manager, we are going to be presented with this view. Our main storage for the shield is here in main storage. <laughs> Funny enough, click on there and there's our test folder. Now, what I like about FX Manager is this split view, which is rather useful. So on the second view, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to the second media card, which is another hard disk attached to my shield. And we're going to go into 
a folder that I've already prepared for this and we are now in FX File Explorer so we've got that prepared ready to write to. So we long click on that one and we are going to copy it from the clipboard, come down to our destination, which highlights that and we're going to paste it over there. Done. Moving on to copying our folder over to LAN and copying over to our um, cloud storage Dropbox in our case. Well, that's a no-no in the free version. Uh, it's an extra. Those two options are uh, paid extras. So not going to test that here, which is a shame because I particularly like this app. So we start off in our home drive, our internal storage drive of the Shield, and that's the folder that we want to move. Now with Explorer, it's always a good idea to get your destination, go to your destination folder where you want to copy it to. Do that first. And in this case, we're going to be copying to Toshiba external drive. And we're going to be copying it into our 000 what test folder. And we're going to be copying it into the explore test folder. So that's where we're copying it to. We go to our, at the moment, this is placed like this arrow is pointing to copy that way. So we go over there, and now it's pointing the other way. We long click on that folder, and we're going to copy it to the storage drive which is the external Toshiba drive and we will click on that or we'll copy it over so we just check that by going into the explore folder and there it is that's the folder we just can copy it in there So the next thing is we're going to copy over to the to my PC onto the LAN and we're going to my PC. I'm going to just copy this into the downloads folder for now and we'll long press on there and as you can see the arrow is pointing to copy to there to the downloads folder. We copy and OK and there they go done. So over in the downloads folder that uh, has been copied. The next thing we're going to look at in Explore is copying to our Dropbox account. So we come down to Web Storage, open up our pre-configured Dropbox account and there we are in there. So what time test in there. We're going to that's where we're copying to. So we're going to copy within that folder. Let's come across here. Long press on there. Copy. And there it goes. So there we have that uh, folder that we've just copied over to Dropbox and it's all in there. Hopefully. And it's all there. Done. So what conclusions can we reach? Well, for us it's quite clear which one's the best free file explorer. Not surprisingly, um, and due basically due to its clunky behaviour, the ES file manager just doesn't work well on, on the Shield. It might work great on a phone or a tablet, but really not on a Shield. The FX file explorer, great. Unfortunately, the extras that we need are only in the paid version. So, cue the drum roll on the fanfare. With a score of 56 out of 60 on the what timeometer, the winner is Explore. Not surprisingly. Do you agree? What do you use? What do you think's best? Tell us down in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications of our next video. We'll catch you when you catch us. Toodle pip.